Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on how to change your Wi-Fi password and also how to change your router name. Free, quick, and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up an internet browser of your choice. Once you have it open, go ahead and type in the local IP address of your router. Now for my Cisco Linksys router, my default IP address is 192.168.1.1 and after I hit the enter key I will be prompted for a user ID and password to log into it. Now I have not changed the uh, user ID or password on this router so the defaults will work and in my case it's admin admin. Now if you have a different router here are some of the typical ones and their IP address um, like D-Link, uh, Netgear, and Belkin and also the uh, default username and passwords. Now if you have changed the password on your router and you do not remember it then you will have to either not do this or you're going to go have to go on the back of the router on my Linksys router and actually push the reset button. Now be warned do not reset your router unless you must do so because you forgot your password or it's the default password is just not working. At any rate um, it will reset everything back to factory defaults so um, be aware of that because you will end up having to set up your router as if it was a brand new router right out of the box. And I do have a video that you can click on this link right here and go through the video and uh, perform that procedure if you like. Um, but if you already are in your router and um, you've gone ahead and typed in the necessary default um, user ID and password like I'm doing right here. I'm typing in admin and then uh, as the password I'm also typing in admin as well because that's the defaults for uh, my Cisco Linksys router. And I'm going to go down here and go ahead and click on OK. And that brings me right into the home page of my Linksys router by Cisco. And I can now go ahead and click on the wireless tab up here. And in order to make the changes for the Wi-Fi password and the network name, I need to be in manual mode. So I clicked on manual here. And before I change the network name, I'm going to go ahead and click on wireless security. Click on the drop down here. And um, as security, I do want WPA2 personal. In my opinion, that's the best out there. And the encryption is going to be AES. I believe that's good. And I recommend that. Now, the passphrase, I'm typing in green trees, is, uh, don't get confused by the terminology, is the password, uh, your Wi-Fi password. And once I do that, I'm going to click on Save Settings and at this point it's going to come back and prompt me your configuration changes have been set please click continue I click continue it goes out and saves it on my router re, uh, restarts it and then I get uh, back into settings in a few uh, seconds moments sometimes it can be a minute at any rate um, I can now go ahead and change my uh, network name which is the name of my router and it's also referred to as SSID and by default it's called Linksys and I'm going to go ahead and change it to uh, oh let's see Nix uh, router that'll work for me for this demo and once I've done that again I click on save settings and once again I will be getting this prompt that says um, your configuration changes have been set please click continue I click continue goes out and saves the uh, changes on the router and then it should come back you would think to the settings window well it won't because I've changed the name of the network the name of the router so it doesn't know what to do so at this point we have to go down here 
and we have to click on the um, wireless um, bars and we want to connect to the new name of the network which is called Nix router and once I do it prompts me for a password and the password is green trees because as you remember that's what uh, I changed it to and uh, go ahead and click on OK at this point it will go ahead and connect and I will get back into my router settings now at this moment I can go ahead and utilize the internet okay that's it for this video tutorial subscribe and like my video